Furthermore, we have the concept of mistake problems, which I had mentioned earlier. These are the typical cases wherein uh, sometimes the person accountant or somebody makes a mistake in calculating the interest and there is a correction made, then how does the interest rate change? And from that various unknowns could be found out. Say, for example, by mistake, a clerk calculated the simple interest on principal for five months at 6.5% annum instead of six months at 5.5% per annum. If the error in calculation was 25.5%. Four zero. So, in that case, original sum of the original sum, what it will be? So we know the formula P I T. So it could be we have. So in the first case, wrong interest minus correct and interest turns out to be say twenty five point three zero. Here we need how to worry about the which is bigger which is small accordingly it will just become negative or positive so i1 may be p into 5 by 12 as a period into 6.5 by 100 minus p into 5.5 upon 100 into 6 by 12 6 by 12 is 25.40. So let's calculate what it is. So this will turn out to be 0 0.0275 P. And This is 0 0.02708 P3 P is equal to 25.40. So it turns out to be roughly. This you can put it in memory. This turns out to be minus zero point zero zero four one six 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 seven or something. It's negative. Maybe if I taken it this way or that way, that we only concerned about the numerical value. So. So it roughly is 25.50. P turns out to be 60,959.99, which is roughly 60,960. So the principal turns out to be 60,960. So instead of calculating, he calculated 6.5% per annum for 5 months instead of 6 months. So the difference is so and so. So hence you can equate it and you get it accordingly, right? So right, that is 60,960. Okay, so we have another one. Mr. X invests rupees 90,500 in post office at 7.5% per annum simple interest. While calculating the rate was wrongly taken as 5.7%. Difference in amounts is 9774, find the period. So it's a case of 90,500 as a principal into 7.5 upon 100 into whatever is a period, say um, T minus 90,500 into 5.7 by 100. T. This turns out to be 9774. So this of course gets cancelled. So it's 
we get 6787.5 p So T comes out to be 9774 upon 1629. So let's see what we have. And this turns out to be 6 years. That means the period for which the deposit has been made was for 6 years. You just have to find the difference in the interest between the two equated to 974. As I said, you could take the other way around. Only thing you'll get answer is negative, which is okay for an MCQ. So we are we, we just need to dis, uh, discard away the negative value. So the time period is six 